God, from Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia. This article is about the term God in the context of monotheism and henotheism. See Deity, God, Male Deity, or Goddess, for details on polytheistic usages. For other uses, see God, Disambiguation. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash en dot wikipedia dot org forward slash wiki forward slash God. God most commonly refers to the deity worshipped by followers of monotheistic and monolatrist religions, whom they believe to be the creator and overseer of the universe. Theologians have ascribed a variety of attributes to the various conceptions of God. The most common among these include omniscience, omnipotence, omnipresence, omnibenevolence, perfect goodness, divine simplicity, and eternal and necessary existence. God has also been conceived as being incorporeal, a personal being, the source of all moral obligation, and the greatest conceivable existent. These attributes were all supported to varying degrees by the early Jewish, Christian, and Muslim theologian philosophers, including Augustine of Hippo, Al-Ghazali, and the Maimonides. Many notable medieval philosophers developed arguments for the existence of God, attempting to wrestle with the apparent contradictions implied by many of these attributes. Philosophers have developed many arguments for and against the existence of God. Etymology and Usage Main Article God Word The earliest written form of the Germanic word God comes from the 6th century Christian Codex Argentius. The English word itself descends from the Proto-Germanic Udan. Most linguists agree that the reconstructed Proto-Indo-European form Gutom was based on the root Gua, which meant either to call or to invoke. The capitalized form God was first used in Ulphilus's Gothic translation of the New Testament to represent the Greek Theos. In the English language, the capitalization continues to represent a distinction between monotheistic God and gods in polytheism. In spite of significant differences between religions such as Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and the Baha'i faith, and Judaism, the term God remains an English translation common to all. The name may signify any related or similar monotheistic deities, such as the early monotheism of Akhenaten and Zoroastrianism. Names of God Main article, Names of God Conceptions of God can vary widely. But the word God in English and its counterparts in other languages are normally used for all of them, such as the Latin Deus, Greek Theos, Slavic Bog, Sanskrit Ishvara, or Arabic Allah. The same holds for Hebrew El, but in Judaism God is given a proper name, Yahweh, harking back to the religion's henotheistic origins. God may also be a given a proper name in monotheistic currents of Hinduism, which empathise the personal nature of God, Bhakti, mostly either of Shiva, Vishnu, or Krishna, or Shakti. It is difficult to draw a line between proper names and the epitheta of God, such as the names and titles of Jesus in the New Testament, the 99 names of God in the Quran, and various lists of thousands of names of God in Hinduism. Conceptions of God Main article Conceptions of God Conceptions of God vary widely. Theologians and philosophers have studied countless conceptions of God since the dawn of civilization. The Abrahamic conceptions of God include the Trinitarian view of Christians, the Kabbalistic definition of Jewish mysticism, and the Islamic concept of God. The Dharmic religions differ in their view of the divine. Views of God in Hinduism vary by region, sect, and caste from monotheistic to polytheistic. The view of God in Buddhism is almost non-theist. In modern times, some more abstract concepts have been developed, such as process f theology and open theism. Conceptions of God held by individual believers vary so widely that there is no clear consensus on the nature of God. The contemporaneous French philosopher Michel Henry has, however, praised a phenomenological approach and definition of God as phenomenological essence of life. Existence of God Main article, Existence of God 
Many arguments for and against the existence of God have been proposed and rejected by philosophers, theologians, and other thinkers. In philosophical terminology, such arguments concern schools of thought on the epistemology and the ontology of God. There are many philosophical issues concerning the existence of God. Some de definitions of God are so non-specific that it is certain that something exists that meets the definition, while other definitions are apparently self-contradictory. Arguments for the existence of God typically include metaphysical, empirical, inductive, and subjective types. Arguments against the existence of God typically include empirical, deductive, and inductive types. Conclusions reached include, God exists, and this can be proven. God exists, but this cannot be proven or disproven, theism in both cases. God does not exist, strong atheism. God almost certainly does not exist, de facto atheism and no one knows whether God exists, agnosticism. There are numerous variations on these positions. A recent argument for the existence of God is intelligent design, which asserts that certain features of the universe and of living things are best explained by an intelligent cause, not an undirected process such as natural selection. It is a modern form of traditional argument from design, modified to avoid specifying the nature or identity of the designer. Its primary opponents, all of whom are associated with the Discovery Institute, believed the designer to be the Abrahamic God. Theological Approaches Main Article Theology Theologians and philosophers have ascribed a number of attributes to God, including omniscience, omnipotence, omnipresence, perfect goodness, divine simplicity, and eternal and necessary existence. God has been described as incorporeal, a personal being, the source of all moral obligation, and the greatest conceivable being existent. The, these attributes were all claimed to varying degrees by the early Jewish, Christian, and Muslim scholars, including St. Augustine, Al-Ghazali, and the Maimonides. Many medieval philosophers developed arguments for the existence of God, while attempting to comprehend the precise implications of God's attributes. Reconciling some of these attributes generated important philosophical problems and debates. For example, God's omniscience implies that God knows how free agents will choose to act. If God does know this, their apparent free will might be illusory, or foreknowledge does not imply predestination, and if God does not know it, God is not omniscient. The last centuries of philosophy have seen vigorous questions regarding the arguments for God's existence raised by such philosophers as Immanuel Kant, David Hume and Anthony Flew, although Kant held the argument from morality was valid. The theist response has been either to contend, like Alvin Plantinga, the f that faith is properly basic, or to take, like Richard Swinburne, the evidentialist position. Some theists agree that none of the arguments for God's existence are compelling, but argue that faith is not a product of reason, but requires risk. There would be no risk, they say, if the arguments for God's existence were as solid as the laws of logic, a position summed up by Pascal as, the heart has reasons which the reason knows not of. Most major religions hold God not as a metaphor, but a being that influences our day-to-day -day existences. Many believers allow for the existence of other, less powerful spiritual beings, and give them names such as angels, saints, juni, demons, and divas. Theism and Deism Theism holds that God exists realistically, objectively, and independent of human thought, that God created and sustains everything, that God is omnipotent and eternal, and is personal, interested, and answers prayers. It holds that God is both transcendent and immanent, thus God is simultaneously infinite and in some way present in the affairs of the world. Catholic theology holds that God is infinitely simple and is not involuntarily subject to time. Most theists hold that God is omnipotent, omniscient, and benevolent, although this belief raises questions about God's responsibility for evil and suffering in the world. Some theists ascribe God to a self-conscious or purposeful limiting of omnipotence, omniscience, and benevolence. Open theism, by contrast, asserts that due to the nature of time, God's omniscience does not mean the deity can predict the future. Theism is sometimes used to refer in general to any belief in a god or gods, i.e. monotheism or polytheism. Deism holds that God is wholly transcendent. God exists, but does not intervene in the world beyond what was necessary to create it. In this view, 
God is not anthropomorphic and does not literally answer prayers or cause miracles to occur. Common in deism is a belief that God has no interest in humanity and may not even be aware of humanity. Pandeism and panendeism, respectively, combine deism with the pantheistic or panentheistic beliefs discussed below. History of Monotheism, main article, Monotheism. The concept of monotheism sees a gradual development out of notions of henotheism and monolateralism. In the ancient Near East, each city had a local patron deity, such as Shamash at Asa or Sin at Ur. The first claims of global supremacy of a specific god the late Bronze Age were the Christians' great hymn to the Aten, connected to Judaism by Sigmund Freud in his Mo Moses and Monotheism, and depending on dating issues, Zoroaster's Gathas to a hero and a Mazda. Currents of monism or monotheism emerge in Vedic India in the same period, with e.g. the Nasadiya Sukta, Philosophical monotheism and the associated concept of absolute good and evil emerges in the classical antiquity, notably with Plato elaborating into the idea of the One in Neoplatonism. According to the Oxford Companion to World Mythology, David Leeming, Oxford University Press, 2005, page 153, the lack of cohesion among early Hebrews made monotheism, even monolatry, the exclusive worship of one god among many, an impossibility. And even then, it can be argued that the firm establishment of monotheism in Judaism required the rabbinical or Talmudic process of the first century before Common Era to the sixth century Common Era. In Islamic theology, a person who spontaneously discovers monotheism is called a Hanif, the original Hanif being Abraham. Austrian anthropologist Wil Wilhelm Schmidt in the 1910s postulated a new monotheismus, original or primitive monotheism, a thesis now widely rejected in comparative religion, but still occasionally defended in creationist circles. Monotheism and Pantheism Monotheists hold that there is only one God, and may claim that the one true God is worshipped in different religions under different names. The view that all theists actually worship the same God, whether they know it or not, is especially emphasised in Hinduism. Adherents of different religions, however, generally disagree as to how best worship God and what is God's plan for mankind, if one at all. There are different approaches to reconciling the contradictory claims of monotheistic religions. One view is taken by exclusivists, who believe they are the chosen people or have exclusive access to absolute truth, generally through revelation or encounter with the divine, which adherents to other religions do not. Another view is religious pluralism. A pluralist typically believes that his religion is the right one, but does not deny the partial truth of other religions. An example of a pluralist view in Christianity is superessionism, i.e. the belief that one's religion is fulfilment of previous religions. A third approach is relativistic inclusivism, where everybody is seen as equally right. An example in Christianity is universalism the doctrine that salvation is eventually available for everyone. A fourth approach is syncretism, mixing different elements from different religions. An example of syncretism is the New Age movement. Pantheism holds that God is the universe and the universe is God. Pantheism holds that God contains but is not identical to the universe. The distinctions between the two are subtle and some consider them unhelpful. It is also the view of the liberal Catholic Church, Theosophy, Hinduism, some divisions of Buddhism and Taoism, along with many varying denominations and individuals within denominations. Kabbalah, Jewish mysticism, paints a pantheistic slash panentheistic view of God, which has wide acceptance in Hasidic Judaism, particularly from their founder, the Baal Shem Tov, but only as an addition to the Jewish view of a personal God not in the original pantheistic sense that denies or limits persona to God. Distheism and Non-Theism Distheism, related to theodicy, is a form of theism which holds that God is either not wholly good or is fully malevolent as a consequence of the problem of evil. One such example would be Satanism. There is no known community of practicing distheists. Non-theism holds that the universe can be explained without any reference to the supernatural or to a supernatural being. Some non-theists avoid the concept of God, whilst accepting that it is significant to many. 
other non-theists understand God as a symbol of human values and aspirations. Many schools of Buddhism may be considered non-theistic. Scientific Positions Regarding God There is a lack of consensus as to the appropriate scientific treatment of religious questions, such as those of the existence, nature, and properties of God, mainly because of the lack of common definition of God. A major point of debate has been whether God's existence or attributes can be empirically tested or gorged. Stephen J. Gold proposed an approach dividing the world of philosophy into what he called non-overlapping magisteria, NOMA. In this view, questions of the supernatural, such as those relating to the existence and nature of God, are non-empirical and are the proper domain of theology. The methods of science should then be used to answer any empirical question about the natural world, and theology should be used to answer questions about ultimate meaning and moral value. The lack of any empirical footprint from the magisterium of the supernatural onto natural events makes science the sole player in the natural world. Another view, advanced by Richard Dawkins, is the existence of God is an empirical question, on the grounds that a universe with God would be a completely different kind of universe from one without, and it would be a scientific difference. A third view is that of scientism, any question which cannot be defined and cannot be answered by science, and is therefore either nonsensical or is not worth asking, on the grounds that only empirically answerable questions make sense and are worth asking. Distribution of belief in God. Main article. List of religious populations. As of 2000, approximately 53% of the world's population identifies with one of the three Abrahamic religions, 33% Christian, 20% Islam, less than 1% Judaism, 6% with Buddhism, 13% with Hinduism, 6% with traditional Chinese religion, 7% with various other religions, and less than 15% as non-religious. Most of these religious beliefs involve a god or gods. Image the percentage of people in European countries who said in 2005 that they believed there is a God. Countries with Catholic or Muslim majorities tend to poll highest. References, notes, external links and more images can be found on the Wikipedia website. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or cross-referencing the information yourself.